Hi guys again, so we are switching back to English again, so this is Spanish uh, Grandmaster Pepe Cuenca, so we are following the uh, last uh, moments of uh, round number nine of Super Strong Open uh, in Gibraltar, and we already have a couple of remarkable uh, results, like uh, for example Nakamura beat with the white pieces, uh, Indian Grandmaster Gupta in a sharp knight or, uh, sorry, Grunfeld, where actually we, we reached this position after some moves and it was extremely complicated. Like uh, Nakamura was an exchange hub, uh, but you know, uh, Black was uh, really active and this was an important moment. So it was important for, for, for Gupta to go for Bishop F1. Instead, he played the, the bad move Knight to A4 that this actually allowed uh, to play Knight to F4, you know, and after Queen D6, yeah, yes, uh, a, he takes d3, after bishop takes d3, just Gupta missed this trick, that after queen takes d3, just queen to e6, just wins on the spot. So basically, after bishop takes d3, there's no comp compensation at all, like you are just an exchange up, and he played queen to b6, and after bishop c2, like some bad mood, for example, it's still possible to, to go really bad here. Like for example, playing something like g5 can, can, do, can look natural. But after rook takes c3, actually black would be winning. Completely not winning, but would be better already. So yeah, but after some simple move like bishop c2, uh, Gupta resigned because uh, after knight to c3, just bishop b3, king h8, and then rook to c3, just, it's just, there's no enough compensation. Let's say rook takes c3, uh, queen takes c3, and if you're gonna wanna take this pawn on g4, there's just simple checkmate on the back rank. So, yeah, so Nakamura won an easy game. Not an easy game, but in a f in few moves. So he is, uh, with seven points, he, he is in, in the leading group probably because uh, the, only, the other uh, uh, game in board number two, there was also an interesting, situa an interesting situation we have to commentate. Like uh, Anton has uh, had really great chances uh, to, to, to put pressure on Pentala uh, Hare Krishna, the Indian super strong grandmaster. Um, let's, comment uh, let's commentate the moment. Like he played Rook F3. This is an interesting prophylactic move because uh, Hare Krishna had some interesting, interesting chances to, to, to go for Rook takes C4, B takes C4 and Queen A4. And the Rook being placed already here, it actually defends this guy on A3. So now he's in time to make another move. With the Rook on F1, for example, he will have to defend this guy and the C4 pawn. So that's why Rook F3 was interesting move. Uh, just avoiding the counterplay that uh, Hare Krishna has in this kind of position. Um, it's interesting uh, how Hare Krishna doesn't want to, to retreat uh, this rook because it would be terrible for, for the consequences of the f7 pawn. But instead he wants to, to sacrifice, uh, to, to, to return this exchange in order to, 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 to be able to blockade the, the d pawn and to put a queen on d5 in the future maybe. So he played rook d, d8. And now Anton went for bishop takes e6, a pretty normal move. F takes e6, uh, bishop takes e6, and bishop f8. And this was actually the important move. Uh, Anton went for bishop takes f8, that this uh, will reach an endgame, a queen endgame, that actually was uh, happened in, uh, in, in the game. But it's not easy to win. It's close to a draw, and we'll see this now. But instead, d5 what was really strong, opening the positions like opening the position, sorry. Of, of course, after e takes d5, this is just terrible because you are taking on f8 in the next move and it's black is just lost. But bishop takes d6, e takes d6, and for example, queen takes d6, this endgame is just terrible for black as well because the rook will be placed on f6. This king is just dead there, it can't do anything. And you will just bring your king uh, with calm and then you, you'll just win this game. The important thing is just this king is not active at all. It's very, it's very passive there, so it's it's quite easy to win this 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 position with white. So, but instead, Anton went for for uh, not went for didn't go for the for the critical variation, but instead he went for for a line that actually he will never lose. 
but it's quite difficult to put pressure like let's say here here and after queen d5 uh, probably the the engine will say uh, to you that queen takes d5 white has advantage but this is just a dead draw you can see here there are no squares for your king to penetrate in the in the in the in the opposite side of the board right so and in, whenever you are on f4 this king will be on neck on a6 whenever you play b4 i just do nothing because after b takes a5 b takes a5 you you don't have squares to 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 penetrate in the opposite side of the board right so anyway we have still uh, so after he just moved the, the queen back so this position they're still playing but it's very easy very difficult to play you know this queen blockades very good and it's very well placed and there, there are many moves like queen to h1 and actually uh, black has a lot of perpetuals so we are uh, following the rest of uh, games we'll be taking a look and the rest of the games so here for example there, there are a lot of games with time travels for example we have bruce on batista against um, uh, Renier Vázquez, so the Cuban player facing the Spanish player and um, there are a lot of time travels, 30 seconds, just 30 seconds for the Cuban player and we are in kind of an equal position. This king on d8 looks uh, strange but it wants to go probably to b8 for example or to f8. Looks to me more natural to go to b8 because here it can be dangerous, so g5 can come and yeah but the problem is he's, he's just got just two minutes for, for eight minutes then he'll get extra time so this quite uh, kind of interesting game so um what else what else do we have we have uh yeah boy tasek lost lost against uh, setura man we'll take a look on this game later first we need to 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 see what's going on here what is going on in the time travel we have niwa chinese player like uh with a pawn down against uh, Matze, Sebastian Matze, who can win this game, who can uh, join uh, uh, the group of leaders uh, with seven points. So, because now he is taking another pawn, who will be able to, to win this four against two in the same flank. I think it's possible, of course, and should be winning. Um, yeah, what else? This, this game, when I was taking a look on this game, this looked really terrible, you know, we, this is the worst ha thing that can happen to you <laughs> in, a, in a kind of stonewall position. You have this bishop on, XC, on g6, it just does nothing at all, you know, it can never uh, be activated in any route. So, but it's not that easy for, for white because uh, black there is pretty solid. Uh, you should try maybe something to open the position like with h3 and then take and then try to put a, a rook on the the h file but this is of course not easy so we'll see how he tries to to win this position so hakovenko trying to to put pressure on sandipan three minutes just for hakovenko only one move to get extra time and what else do we have yeah federico uh, perez ponza yeah this is was draw against sultan almasi and we have this interesting game between Kamsky and Maria Muthichuk. So yeah, they reach a triple repetition like after knight to a1, queen to c1, knight to b3, queen to c1 only move because you have to defend the, the rook on b3, queen to c2, queen a1. You can play rook c5, you could think, but actually this is just an endgame with a pawn uh, with a pawn down, right? So uh, yeah, with queens, white can hope to, to create some kind of attack in the in the king side, but it's also possible that you get nothing and then you just uh, lose. You are gonna lose a, a worse end game. So um, yeah, we're gonna reach a really interesting situation in the last round. We'll have um, Bakrot and Bache with seven points. We'll have probably Hari Krishna. We and uh, Hari Krishna and uh, Anton with seven points. And Ikaru Nakamura also joining the, the group. And <laughs> what about Lee Chow? Yeah, he's still trying to to to, to win this endgame. It was a uh, four versus three in the in the same flank. And I think it's just possible now. It's really possible. Like let's say, of course, uh, Queen to D6, uh, K 
king to d6, you just can give a check. And so it, it's kind of a transposition if we play king to d6. And then it's quite easy to, to, to win this kind of endgame. I think you just go to king to f4, knight f3, e5. You create a pass pawn there. And then you just go to g5 with your king. Yeah. So quite interesting. So probably Lee Chow is going to win this game as well. Who else? Uh, people are saying in the chat that just uh, Marcus Drager missed a win. Let's check it out. How was that game? Where is Marcus Drager? Where are you, my friend? Where are you? Um, yeah, we, we don't need to... We, we cannot forget that Bishi scored a, a relative easy win today against uh, Dimitri Kolar. So Bishi at least... Um, getting back the good feeling of winning a game and try to 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 get some points back. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. The good thing about this for Anton is he can play he can play until he wants, right? So, yeah. But there's nothing concrete. Whenever you exchange queens, there's no entry for your king. Yeah. There's always a, li a lot of perpetuals. Um, yeah, let's see what's going on in Grandelius versus Yu Yang Yi. Yeah, so he's upon down, but okay, who's saying? Yeah, yeah, probably this is gonna be a draw. These pawns will be eliminated soon, and then two versus one in the same flank is just uh, it's just a draw, right? It's just a dead draw. Okay, Marcus Rager. So Marcus Rager, they're still in time trouble, like trying to reach a move forty. So this is the position. Wow, this is the position. Queen f seven is a terrible mistake. Wow, he didn't see. Yeah, he, he saw queen h2 and then queen f6, he didn't play rook h8. So rook h8, king f7, rook takes c8, and he was afraid probably of, sorry, of queen to b, to d4, but there is just king to f1, right? Queen to a1, king f2, queen to d4, and then you can go there, and then queen c3, queen d1, queen to d2, and then after here, you can go to d3, right? And ha, incredibly, you go via e3 now, and then you are safe from, from the checks. All right, so Marcus uh, Raga, he missed a win, but still, uh, still, the, the position is really complicated. So king f2, e5, but it's, it looks good to me uh, for, for black now. It's kind of safe, and then he ha he's got these two dangerous pawns. And actually, he takes his d6 pawn, it can be even better. So, yeah, Marcus Raga in time travel, missing a win. This happens, guys. Yeah, yeah, people are talking in the chat. It's an easy draw. Uh, the game versus Anton and, and Hare Krishna. Yeah, yeah, so if you take, people are saying there in the chat that you can create a lot of paths for, for white kings to, to, to penetrate in the position, but I don't see any. I mean, there's no path. Whenever you come to, to f4, you just come to e6, and then you can try b4 at some lines, but yeah. Okay, let's say, for example, e d5, and then let's, let's say king e2, king d7, let's say b4, let's say b4, you king to e7 all the time. And yeah, what, what's going on here? Nothing. So you can take here and then everything is covered. Everything is covered. So there is no square to enter for your king. So yeah, so this is a dead draw. Of course, white can try to play with the queens a little bit more just to, to try uh, to create some, I mean, Maybe he can try to, to penetrate with the queen, but whenever you, you, you go there, you, you try to, to pick some pawns, there will be always a perpetual. Just queen h1 or queen takes b3 at some point. Yeah, this looks just a, a dead draw. So, okay. We got Ju Janji here playing. We got Seturaman. So, so Seturaman won against uh, Boitasek. 
And we have this uh, interesting game. So yeah, this is uh, kind of easy to win. So black will has changed these two pawns and there's just three versus one. Just a matter of time. Yeah. We still have this game. So let's stick for a while here. Um, because they are in time trouble, we need they need to play two more moves in order to reach move 40. So we'll stick around this game. But it looks to me that black is completely safe here. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, maybe there is a way to give perpetual here. No, king to g5, right? I mean, I like black here. Rook to h3. Yeah, f4 maybe. f4 has a drawback and then you... you then there's this beautiful square for this bishop. Yeah. And then rook h8 maybe. Something like this. Yeah. So, yeah, this looks equal as well. So let's see what... Uh, uh, Rager plays in this position. Of course, yeah. What, what, what people are saying in the chat, yeah. Yeah, they are discussing, you guys are discussing a lot about this endgame. Of course, if you go for this endgame, like, uh, uh, for example, here, exchanging queens, then it's lost because you go to e4 very easily, you play d5, then you take on e6, and then uh, you then you, ju ju that endgame is just, just completely won, right? So, But the difference between this is uh, if you take on, sorry, you take on d5, then, then there is no way to penetrate with your king. So there's a huge difference. With the pawn here is completely lost. With the pawn here is completely a draw. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this looks completely terrible. This looks terrible. So king h6, e4. Now you cannot even take because there is this guy here, queen h7, and then there is bishop takes e4 if bishop takes there is this beautiful tactics boom boom rook to b7 and if of course uh, you cannot give a check because i just take and then if you take on b7 there is queen takes here boom boom here here yeah, I, th I guess you guys can do this all of, all of you yeah queen to b7 there's no need for anything else so, yeah, now e4, he cannot take on e4, actually, the terrible mistake in, in not in time, terrible mistake for uh, Sandipan, queen to, king to h6, e4 now. Um, yeah, and they just reached the move 40, so he just made a terrible mistake in time trouble. Now you have to go back to this knight, there is no... A proper square knight to e7 you can just take on b7 that's the problem knight on c7 you can take on b7 there's no proper square the b7 pawn is just lost now so terrible tr uh, troubles for for sandy pan in this position after playing uh, the, the really bad move he just wanted to hold the position with he just wanted to do nothing but it was okay you can play rookie a you can play rook f8 something like this yeah and it's pretty difficult, the position, uh, uh, that's the truth. But after king h6, it's just completely lost because of this nice uh, tactics. Uh, bishop e4 followed by queen g5 and bishop takes uh, e4. So, let's see what he plays. One move for one minute. One minute for one move. Rapport, what is Rapport doing? The creative guy so here's a pawn up mm, yeah black has good chances to to hold the position but still this three versus one looks uh, quite uh, dangerous um yeah he's trying to to join not to join the the leading group but still to 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 put himself in a in a in a good situation where he can try to 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 win a good prize or to i don't know I don't know what about this game. So let's say, for example, king to g2. Yeah. Not easy. For example, knight to d3 in order to create some 
attack to the A2 pawn. If 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 Black manages uh, to take the A2 pawn, will be a, a draw for sure. But yeah, knight to E3 followed by knight to C4 or something. Yeah, these three pawns look dangerous, but I don't know if it's enough. All right, so. Yeah, there's these two players were in time travel as well, so uh, position is uh, kind of equal. Move 39. Um, yeah, now this knight on g6 is not really dangerous, so not really a trouble for, for black. He can try to play knight to b5 in order to simplify everything. Let's say knight to b5, rook to d6. Knight to d6, this endgame, queen to e6. You can play just queen c6. And yeah, if you want to go for this, like king b7 and knight to g7, you can lose because you, you have queen to h1 check and the knight is hanging, right? All right. So what else do we have? Yeah, Alexander Kosteniuk versus uh, Emil Sutopsky. What's going on here, guys? So, yes, this knight is completely trapped. So probably he will just take it. And it's just a piece up. So, yeah, so Sutopsky uh, went in this position. Let's see what, where was the mistake. Okay, bishop e3, and he played knight f4, rook to g3, and knight to g6. Knight to g6, the problem is, okay, king to f7, and knight to h8. Yeah, this move is strange. Maybe something like this. I mean, the position looks really bad for, 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 for white. Yeah, but after knight h8, this knight is completely trapped, right? There's no way it's coming back. So after knight g6, you can even take on b4. Okay. Wow, what is this? How did King end over there in h4? Yeah, we were analyzing this position in the Spanish uh, commentary. He played queen to b7, that is actually an interesting move because you are planning to play c5 to create some corner play, to, to give checkmate on g2, to have some nice checks on h3, but the position of this king is just two weeks. So he just played uh, knight to g4, King to g5, wow. So it was necessary to play king to g6. The difference is that if you play king to g5, there is queen to f3. The difference if you go to h to g6 now and then you play queen to f3, you can just try to go back to g7 and then to h8 and trying to, to, to run from, from that, right? But... After king g5, he played rook f3. The problem now is like, of course, this queen f3 is uh, a direct attempt to, to, to avoid black's counterplay with c5. That's pretty clear. And then you are planning to play maybe h4 in some positions and, and yeah, on rook g1. So he played knight to h5. The problem with, for example, king to g6, it just rook g1 again. Like you are not in time to, you are not on time to go to h8. You would love to be there to 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 play queen to g7 if white gives you a check on c3 or something like this. But after king h8, yeah, just h4 is extremely good move. After king g6, you just have rook e6, right? And after king to g7, you just have queen c3, and there's no way that you can avoid knight h6 checkmate, right? Oh, okay, so after <laughs> the position is completely looks uh, really terrible there, right? So he played knight to f6, really good move. The, the idea is like if you take with the rook, rook to e4, followed by rook g4. No, sorry. So you, you play here, rook to e4, king g1, and then after rook g1, for example, king h6, queen e3 is just winning. So. Yeah, knight to f6, of course, if you take with the knight, then there is rook d4, king g5, rook g1 here, and checkmate. So there's no way to avoid this beautiful, beautiful attack from, from white side, beat it. Created a, a great attack in this game. So yeah, always nice to see a king ended up in h4, Riley, right? <laughs> All right, so 
Let's get back to Anton's game. Let's get back to Anton's game. Yeah, so we are already in this uh, end game. He played King G4. Yeah, they're gonna play a couple of moves here and they're gonna uh, uh, sign the draw, right? Yeah, no way. You can play H5, nothing is gonna happen. King E6, you can play here, here, no way. No way to penetrate in black's position. So, what else do we have? Yeah, this end game is gonna be a dead draw anyway. Matze, Sebastian Matze, still, uh, yeah, is the plan is quite obvious. You can play c5 straight away. If they take here, you just can go and take pick pick this pawn up, and then yeah, just continue with your pump storm in the in the in the, on the queen side. So yeah, this is looks pretty bad for white. Uh, Marcus Rager still now the position doesn't look so good anymore now for him. He was completely winning. He didn't see that rook h8, and then he thought it was a perpetual for sure. And then he tried it to 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 play different differently. But but now it it looks not that easy. I mean, I, I think of moves like f4 uh, very soon, and then yeah, this pawn looks to me more dangerous than this pawn on d6. It's protected, but okay. But it's quite difficult to to push it, but. Instead, this pawn on e4 can be pushed like uh, in an easier way. For example, there are some tricks, all right? I mean, not, I don't know if now, okay? But some positions you can play e3 followed by rook g2. There are these kind of tricks. So, yeah. So let's see what uh, Rager is gonna do about this. He play. Okay, many, many interesting things. Like you can also play rook b7, try to open this file and then play rook to b2, something like this. You can also put, yeah, this looks natural to me. Or you can take and then play rook to b7, right? That's even more natural. And then, then what? It's like your king is gonna end up probably in the, in the back rank. Um, yeah, black is, uh, is gonna be so active that it's gonna be difficult. Okay, if people are still chatting about this endgame in the in Anton's position, bueno, they already agreed the draw. So we have two draws in the first two boards. Nakamura and Li Chao won in the third and fourth uh, board. So interesting last rounds. We're gonna have a lot of players with seven rounds, anything, everything has to be decided in the last round. So <laughs> pretty interesting to, to watch. Uh, yeah, tomorrow, we, we still have a lot, uh, son of, some, some of the games uh, going on, but I, I just want to remind you that tomorrow from 11 a.m. Uh, Central European time, we'll be uh, broadcasting again all these games with commentary probably. So just be there, no, don't, don't miss it. All right, so what else do we have? Let's check this Ragger's endgame. So as I told you, I think this is pretty obvious. B takes, B takes, and rook to B7. This is pretty obvious. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what would I play with this. Maybe it's something like king to g3, trying to be prophylactic. But now you have the option of going rook b5, pick this pawn and then this pawn. For, let's say, for example, rook b5, rook a7, rook to c5, then this pawn is stuck. So if this 7 you can go rook d5, then I'm gonna pick it, just a pawn up, and then good options to win this game. Very difficult to play uh, this position from practical point of view don't know guys i don't know guys what do you think and yeah hakovenko is on top after this nice e4 knight to e7 rook takes b7 this just looks terrible for black i don't know uh, you are threatening so many stuff like if 
I mean, if you just try to hold everything, just you can just even go to queen f6, and then if you take, take, you cannot even move the knight to g8 because there is checkmate, boom, in g5. So, after rook e8, queen f6, if you now try to take on e4, there's always this trick. And now even bishop f6, you just win a piece. So, pretty difficult position for Sandy Pang. I think he will be resigning very soon. Um, this game versus uh, Bruce Ong versus René, I think it's going to end in a draw probably. But still, some play over there. Uh, yeah, the, the, the pairings are important for tomorrow. But Crot will play with white pieces, maybe versus Anton. And then Nakamura will, will play with the black pieces. Let's see if he tries to risk or he plays more, you know, solid, trying to... But of course... He, he will love to to win the tournament and he's very fighting he has a fighting spirit so he will go for the win for sure uh, I, I like Nakamura style what else do we have yeah Arian Tari my Swedish league teammate he played okay this position uh, a draw was agreed yeah this looks like pretty pretty solid for both sides Okay. Yeah, this was the position from Kosteniuk against Subtopski. That, uh, yeah, Alexandra is pretty, pretty bad in this position. Just a piece down. And there are some complications, of course. For example, knight to c4, knight takes, and then bishop d4, intermediate move, then trying to pick this bishop. And then it's just completely won. It's just completely won. What's going on? People are saying who Rapport was with plus 12. Where is my friend Rapport? I want to check that out. I want to check that out. Rapport. Let's see the position. Yeah. So let's check it out. Yeah, here. It's like a really extremely complicated position. Rook takes v7. Yeah, black king, black king looks really terrible there. So queen to h5, d3, queen takes h6. Looks like almost checkmate, but still he's saving the position. h4, d2, no, sorry, queen to d5. If d2, you are just, I guess you can just play like rook to d7. And you can never uh, help this guy to, 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 to be a queen because you can always have to take care of the g7 pawn. So after queen to e5, queen to g5, e3, knight takes. Yeah, this end game. Okay, he was already, he was always better. So yeah. And yeah, most of the games are finished. We still have... Let me check what do we have here. Yeah, we have Sebastian Matze still playing. But... Uh, yeah, this is quite easy to... to to win i mean just c5 as i told you guys and then uh, yes okay you can play c3 this will actually give wide hopes to to hold the position like you can try to create some kind of fortress with king to c3 and yeah but it's not even possible you play king to d5 and then yeah bishop d7 and now you have to make a move but this gives hopes actually so it's not necessary you can try just to go to, with your king there and play a5 or something like this and then b4 yeah it's one and marcus Rager suffering this position he played e3 now trying to think they have a lot of time now 
So, yeah. Jakovenko beating Sandipan. I don't know, it's so difficult to play this position, just terrible. You you see guys, this this bishop is so sad there, you know, it has nothing to do. Cannot even rig a book a book there. It's nothing to do there. So Yeah, there are we have to check the pairings tomorrow. Like some people are saying, Bakrot Naka, Hari Krishna versus MVL, Seturaman versus Anton, and Matze versus Lee. We'll see. We'll see. And Bruthon still playing. A takes before. A takes before. Yeah, knight to a5, for example. Just trying to simplify everything. Knight takes, queen takes, and then queen to d3, for example. This is just a dead draw again. This is just a dead draw. So probably it's going to end in a draw as well. And uh, But yeah, we had a lot of fighting chess today. Anton was very close to beat Hare Krishna. And Nakamura won a really easy game. Not easy, as we say, but really fast game. Yu Yang Yi is still trying to put some pressure here, but it's kind of difficult. Yeah, I don't think so. Just, just stay here. You manage to exchange this, all, these two guys. will be a completely dead draw. So... I think we're gonna make another break and then come back in Spanish and probably I'll do it, I'll be doing some banter blitz after we finish the games in Spanish with some of the premium users. Um, yeah, so just stay tuned and I'll talk to you guys in a while.